This video is closed captioned in English and Spanish subtitles. Hello, travelers. Welcome, everybody. This is Anthony, also known as the Travel Droner. Here on this channel, we create videos discussing amazing travel facts and amazing destinations. Join us on our journey around the world by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the beautiful country of Colombia and the best places to visit while there on vacation. I hope you enjoy it. Without further ado, here are the 10 best places to visit in Colombia. Cartagena. Cartagena is regarded as one of the best preserved colonial destinations in America and is termed as the crown jewel of Colombia's Caribbean coast. It is no doubt a very famous historic city with an amazing wall around it. It has got very beautiful colonial architecture, which is now restored as restaurants. At the same time, one building is offering two amazing sites, the ancient architecture and modern restoration. Cartagena is exceptional in its restoration and amazing in giving the old era the modern look. The walled city of Cartagena has been very beautifully restored. Unlike many other historic cities, which usually offer a glimpse of faded glory, Cartagena has fabulous restorations to occupy the tourist's attraction. It has got unexpected delights for first-time visitors, where one can enjoy one-of-a-kind dining experiences, along with unique attractions and things to do by day and by night. Enjoy eating at lined restaurants on the ends of narrow streets. Get yourself entertained by roaming musicians in the day. By evening time, sit aside on the top of the wall and see the mesmerizing views of the sunset over the ocean. There's a lot to do at night as well. Go out and wander through Barrio San Diego towards Plaza de los Coches, watching the street performers right in front of Torre de la Roja. Number two, Medellin. With a smaller and manageable size of Medellin, it's even more attractive for visitors than the capital of the country. This is a city particularly famous for its innovative lifestyle and creativity. There are incredible appealing cable cars to link the settlements and hills with the advanced metro system down the hills. Lush green eco parks hold the attention of every visitor. There are striking libraries and community centers too in the neighborhoods of the city. In the day, there are plenty of places to go like the Museum of Antioquia and Rafael Uribe, Palace of Culture. Go in the hills by escalator and explore the colorful homes of the city. Say goodbye to the sun at Medellin's trendiest commune, El Poblado, where you are going to find buzzing eateries, boutique shops, and numerous hotels and shopping centers. Visit the many parks Medellin has to offer. They are turning them into hot spots at night with a lot of entertainment. It is a favorite spot for locals to hang out and being seen. Enjoying some drinks or food offered by the hundreds of restaurants and cafes there. One of the more popular ones being Pacalleras. Number three, Eje Cafetero. Being the world's third largest producer of coffee beans, Colombia is famous for its taste and tours. Most of the coffee beans are produced in Eje Cafetero. It is the home of a growing coffee plantation. If you have made up your mind to visit Eje Cafetero, stay in the smart resort town of Celento because it is easily accessible from anywhere in the city and also a very attractive one. Cocora Valley, the home of the tallest palm trees, is quite close to it. Let me tell you the unique aspect of the city. Rent a bicycle and explore the fantastic region more conveniently and on your wheels and time. If you aren't alone, no worries. Enjoy the ride of the old-fashioned Willy Jeep that is the town's amazing taxi service. Number four, Piedra del Peñol in Guatape, the most colorful town in Colombia. No trip to the Antioquia region is complete without at least spending a day walking through the most colorful streets of Colombia's most colorful town, and as it's only a short bus ride 80 kilometers from Medellin, there's no reason to miss this unique small town. Watape is a Colombian resort town in the Andean Mountains. It's known for its houses decorated with colorful base reliefs. The whole area was flooded in the 1970s to make way for a huge hydraulic dam. This resulted in a village or two being relocated and tourism having a much bigger role to play in the economy today as many tourists come to visit. It sits by the vast man-made Peñol Guatape. Piedra del Peñol is a giant granite rock southwest of town. 
has hundreds of steps to the top where there are unique, amazing views. Explore the lake by renting a kayak from one of the hotels on Lake Watape and also offers an opportunity to explore the multitudes of small islands in the lake or take a boat tour through the lake. Do not forget to try the delicious local cuisine in town or below the Piadre del Peñol, where many local dishes are served with an unbeatable view to the lagoon. Number five, Tyrona National Natural Park. It has got some of the best beaches in Colombia to have fun in. The specialty of its beaches is that they are secured by the National Park, which is famous for its palm trees and crystal clear blue lagoons. Most of its beaches are right against mesmerizing beautiful mountains of Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. Exploring the rainforested hills of the region can be a great deal of fun and amusement on your beach vacation. It is the best site to go underwater and do some diving for exploring marine life. Let me tell you a secret about its beaches, especially the La Pacina Beach and Cabo San Juan. Visit them from November to February, the low season, to avoid massive crowds. Be prepared to sleep in a tent or hammock at one of the many beachside campgrounds. If you love nature, you are at the right spot. A natural lifestyle, water fun, jungles, and its local inhabitants along the beautiful rivers and beaches. It all starts from here, so don't think too much and make your way towards this amazing site. Number 6. Bogota most of the visitors of Colombia start their journey inevitably from this classic city. It has got charms of both colonial architecture and urban sophistication. It is the nation's largest city and a beating heart. This city is populated with 8 million people who are working day and night for its growth and development. Start your journey in the historic center of La Candelaria, which has got impressive buildings lining Plaza del Bolivar. And don't miss the sightseeing cultural attractions of the Blindly Bright Museum of Gold. If you want to have amazing foods and traditional wares, head towards the wealthier neighborhoods of North Bogota for one of the nation's best boutiques and chef-driven restaurants. To accommodate you here, it has got numerous hotels, from economy class to luxurious ones, at reasonable prices. Number 7. The Lost City. Just like its name, this city is a wonderful place to go. This comes after Colombia's most famous hike of 44 kilometers. It is a lost city hidden in the dense forests of Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta Mountains that were found in the 1970s. It was built and occupied by Tyrona Indians between the 8th and 14th centuries. This amazing historical city is said to be one of the largest pre-Columbian settlements ever discovered in the Americas. A large area of the site is still beneath the thick jungle quilt. Inhabitants of today's city have banned any further excavations, but the stone terraces and the stairways are still in outstanding condition. You can't go alone to visit this site. Rather, you have to book a tour from Santa Marta in advance. This tour is going to provide you with all essentials. It is going to be your life's best journey in terms of adventure. So, don't miss the chance and prepare yourself for this challenging experience. Number 8. Providencia Island. This fascinating Caribbean island wonders many first-time visitors with its exceptional charms and beauty. This has got stunning sunny beaches to lay down on. This island is particularly known for its delicious food, and a little more to that, it has got golden sands and perky palms. This solitary destination is protected by UNICEFCO Seaflower Biosphere Reserve, with some of the world's most significant marine biodiversity just waiting to be explored. The best way to get around the island is by renting a scooter to explore the island. Watch out for the locals. They drive really fast and overtake you on the road. On the way to Providencia, you will have to stop at the very famous San Andreas Island to catch a mini hopper plane or a three-hour catamaran ride to reach here. Don't worry about accommodation. Once there, you are going to find a huge collection of cottages and hotels in a small hamlet of Aqua Dulce on the stunning west coast of the island. Number 9. Mompox Santa Cruz de Mompox lies in northern Colombia and is known for its preserved colonial character. Its economy depends upon tourism, fishing, and local cattle raising. It has a short population of about 30,000 people. Since it was declared as the world's heritage site, it became an attractive site for tourists due to its historic colonial architecture.
This town is famous for some important independent cinema and jazz festivals. Their exceptional religious norms and celebrations, along with parades, are popular among Santa Cruz de Mompox visitors, which is done to honor the dead, followed by various other ceremonies associated with diverse religious events. Another attraction of the city is its mouth-watering dishes based on cassava, corn, fish, achiote, and black pepper. If you like music, you will feel like in the home of music with a fusion of African and Spanish influences with a contrast of native cumbia music. If you want to explore more about this classic city of Colombia, book an air ticket and come on. Number 10, La Guajira Peninsula. In South America, it is the most northerly point. This city has fallen on our list primarily for its remoteness and lesser visits of tourists. You'll be surprised to know this, but yes, it is due to these factors. I'm going to tell you why. It has got everything to hold your attention and occupy you in its charming beauties, but in a very peaceful environment. So, if you are seeking a place where, along with sightseeing views, you can also feel silence and peace... La Guajira Peninsula is here for you, where the desert meets the turquoise Caribbean Sea. This city is inhabited by Wayu people who had maintained their freedom and vibrant culture to this day and were never subjugated by Spanish rule. Don't forget that tourism is still new here, and a ride to this city from the regional capital needs both patience and a sense of adventure. Cabo de la Vela is going to be your best entry point into the region with its amazing tourism infrastructure and attractive windsurfing. If you are looking for a peaceful environment during your visit to Colombia and want to avoid going to crowded areas, just visit this amazing peaceful destination. We hope you enjoyed this video. Which place do you like to visit from the list above? Let us know in the comment section below the video. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you will be the first to know when we publish a new video. Thanks for watching.